<clears throat> What's up, guys? Um, I'm a little bit pissed off right now, and I'll tell you why. I'm a recovering alcoholic. Um, I've been sober for just over eight months now. Uh, I am super proud of myself. This is the longest I've ever been sober in my entire life. Let me turn on a light, light here so you can see me better. So yeah, eight months sober. This is the longest I've ever been sober since I started drinking. And um, I am getting a little bit better with being sober. It's not easy, but every day is a little bit better than the last. Let me straighten you out a little here. Um, but it, it's still not really easy, even though every day is better than the last. I still get cravings. I still have dreams about drinking, and I still get triggered to drink every now and then. And it's tough. Now, luckily, uh, I've actually been using uh, this helpful herb called Kratom, uh, kind of as an alcohol substitute, but more to actually help with my alcohol cravings. A couple nights a week, if I'm having uh, the urge to drink, I take a little bit of this herb, Kratom, and my cravings are gone. Um, and most importantly, uh, with, unlike alcohol, where I have the compulsion just to drink and drink and drink and drink once I get started, I take one dose of this Kratom, and that's it. I have no urge to, to redose, no urge to, to abuse it. Um, I'm not going to lie, it does kind of give me a little bit of a body buzz, like a pleasant body feel, but it doesn't fuck me up beyond belief like alcohol did. Um, it, it acts uh, it acts mildly the way it works. It, it, it acts on your opiate receptors. It doesn't actually, uh, and I'm not a chemist, I'm not a doctor, so I'm probably going to be using incorrect terminology and I'm going to be very vague, but it doesn't directly affect your opiate receptors. It kind of acts on them directly. Um, and as a result, it actually, uh, <clears throat> this herb, uh, it, it helps with cravings of drugs, and it's a good pain reliever. And uh, it's actually helped me and a lot of other people. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not going to be able to use uh, this herb more than likely at the end of this month, because at the end of this month, uh, the 30th of September, the DEA is banning it. They're making it a Schedule One substance, just like heroin. <clears throat> uh, I am very pissed. I'm very, very saddened by this, and so are a lot of other people, and it shouldn't be this way. Now, why is the DEA banning this herb? <clears throat> well, their reasoning is that it's a very dangerous and addictive drug with no medical benefits. Well, Let's examine that claim. Let's see, a dangerous drug. Well, there have been a handful of deaths from it, but none, as far as I can tell, and I've been looking it up, none have been due to an, uh, an overdose or directly because of Kratom itself. It's be because of mixing it with other drugs. So that's not really true. Um, an abusable drug, an addictive drug, well, um, while, like I said, it does kind of give a little bit of a body buzz, um, you know, a little bit of a pleasant feeling, and while heavy use over an extended period of time can cause a little bit of a physical dependence, uh, it's not anywhere as abusable as opiates or alcohol, and not nearly as addictive. So that's not really true. Uh, and the DEA says that it has no medical benefits. Really? Well, then explain to me why people have been using it to get off heroin, to get off opiates, to stay sober off alcohol, and uh, as a safer alternative to opiates and painkillers to manage pain. If it has no medical benefits, why are they using it? Are, are these people just lying to themselves? Hmm, so that's not it either. Now, let me see, why would the DEA be trying to ban this this, this, this herb? Why are they trying to ban Kratom? Um, let me see here. Um, could it be because uh, maybe a few months ago, there were a couple studies released which prove that Kratom is a safer and effective alternative to opiates? Could, could that possibly be why, you think? Huh, could it be because maybe uh, once word gets out more and more about Kratom and its effectiveness, the pharmaceutical companies who are in bed with the DEA due to our crony capitalist system, do you think maybe they'll lose money on prescription painkillers because people can just buy this useful and effective and safe herb over the counter instead of buying dangerous drugs? Could that maybe be why you think? Could the, do, you th do you think that's it? I mean, you know, I, I left my tinfoil hat somewhere else. I don't have it on me right now, but... Could that maybe be it, you think? I'm sorry, I'm just, this, this is really just, you know, it, it's, it's pissing me off really badly. And we can't let this happen. Uh, I'm not going to get into too much politics, but it's bad enough that marijuana is illegal. And yes, I know pot's not harmless. 
You know, it can be abused, does make you high, people drive high and they get into car accidents, but the illegality of marijuana is so much worse than the drug itself, and marijuana does have medical benefits, I've seen it help people, and it should be legal. So it's bad enough that the DEA, not too long ago, voted against moving marijuana to a Schedule II substance, which could be pres prescribed. They decided to keep it as a Schedule I, which means that in most states in the U.S., um, or a lot of states anyway, like Florida here, you can't yet um, get a doctor's prescription for it. I think that's about to change here in Florida in the next upcoming months. Uh, maybe not. I'm still kind of ignorant as to whether medical passed or not, so maybe somebody can clue me in on that. But it's bad enough that they did that. Now they're going to take away Kratom, which, uh, like I said, not harmless because nothing is. It's, uh, it, it, I, I guess it could be abusable, but probably not. Uh, if you're looking to get high off of opiates and you, and you choose Kratom, you're going to be really disappointed because maybe it causes a little bit of a body buzz, but you're, you're not going to get fucked up off of it. And once you pass a certain dosage, it actually makes you feel really dysphoric and kind of sick. So it's not a very abusable. Uh, you know, it, it, it could be addictive, I guess, if you're on it for a long enough period of time, but I heard the withdrawal off of it is not too bad. Uh, it's still a hell of a lot... Uh, better than the withdrawal from opiates or alcohol, uh, I can tell you that. So that's not the case either. And this is a safe, uh, safer and less addictive alternative to painkillers. Uh, and we cannot let this happen. We cannot let this herb be banned because it has a lot of promise and potential. Um, there's a petition that's floating around that already has almost 50,000 signatures to keep this stuff legal, to keep Kratom legal. Uh, I'm going to post a link into the description below. Please, please sign this sign this petition. Even if you're not in pain, even if you're not a drug addict, if you know anybody who's on drugs or alcohol uh, who are trying to get off, or if you know anybody who's in pain who doesn't want to be on opiates, Vicodin, Oxycontin, anything like that, who, and who need a safer alternative, Kratom is probably for them. Please sign this petition. Please sign this petition and keep this stuff legal. Uh, please just do this. Uh, I'm telling you, this is going to be a, a major atrocity uh, if this stuff becomes illegal at the end of this month, because then the only way that people are going to be able to get it is off the black market, and then it's going to be impure or fake, and bad things are going to happen. And you're going to see uh, a rise in the number of addictions and alcoholism and people in pain if this stuff is banned. They're only making it illegal because of agenda, because of crony capitalist agenda, uh, the DEA, wants, you know, they're making up all these lies to keep it illegal because the pharmace pharmaceutical companies will lose money off of it if it remains legal. But fuck them. You have to keep this stuff legal. You have to. It's going to help out a lot of people. So please uh, sign this uh, petition in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I've been very, much, uh, very, very busy with a number of things recently. I'm getting a new job uh, for one thing. Uh, and I'm going to be working a few more hours, plus I'm in school right now, and uh, my classes are, are going well, but they're very time-consuming. So as soon as I can, though, I am definitely, definitely going to make more Asperger's videos. I'm thinking of some interesting topics that I'm definitely going to do in the next co coming weeks. So please stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to sign this petition, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.